my feet into the soil, soak my skin in ancient oil, bring my feelings to a boil, got to clarify. I draw my inspiration from lots of places, from science, from history, from nature, and especially from my own personal experiences. I was on a mission with this album to figure out, through words and music, what makes us tick. Fingerprints and molecules, hereditary knowledge rules. The double helix never fools. The script is ready made. I'll shake these trees, I'll shake the stones, I'll shake these secrets from my bones. And when I'm done, I'll shake my soul. I'm not afraid. Oh, I am not afraid. DNA is kind of like the screenplay of our lives. And the more we understand it, the more we're going to be able to handle our, the surprises that life throws our way. For me, it means understanding my roots in Scandinavia and coming to terms with the hand that I was dealt. Future, destiny, legacy, family. The song DNA goes to a core issue that we all share, which is how much of who we are is predetermined by genetic makeup and how much is environmental. It's basically a blues that is about quenching that thirst that we all have inside of us to understand who we are and why. Signs of life surround us. Subtle things that last. Signs of Life was inspired by relics that I found in the dirt cellar of my 1800 home. And I was working with the awareness of the stories behind everyday objects and the lives of the people connected to them. These objects are right under our noses in our everyday lives, and if we're not mindful, we could easily miss them. Things like old horseshoes and old New York Times clippings and a little baby spoon. And each one of these objects has a story to tell. The cave knows the I had the great good fortune to collaborate with one of my musical heroes, Fred Hirsch, on music for an award-winning film called No Place on Earth. And once again, I was moved by the signs of life that were left behind. An old key to someone's home, a woman's shoe, a rusty cup, each with a story to tell. The cave knows the power of a mother's love. I think Rondi is a person who knows truth in music. Um, she's has a, a life before she became a jazz singer, you know, in classical music, in journalism. She's smart. So when she covers something, it's, you know, for a reason and with great intelligence. It was a miracle. Anytime you have the chance to be associated with a great project, you know, to me, that's what I'm here for. I've never done this before, but hey, you know, let's try it. And I think, you know, what came out is, I think, very special. And as the sun pours down like honey from the skies, like some remote clairvoyant vision in a prophet's eyes, a prophet's eyes. What holds all these things together for me is my constant search for the truth. Because no matter what the subject matter is, whether it's something being covered up in an investigative story, or it's some secret meaning hidden inside of a song, I believe that if you dig deep enough and ask enough questions, you'll eventually discover some small kernel of truth, and that's what excites me. And that's what I enjoy sharing with my audiences, is that excavation process. If I've learned anything, it's to keep your curiosity alive. Go ahead and make mistakes and don't be afraid to ask questions and dive in.